I mean, that's, that's what I've got because I'm not a fan of tattoos, I don't- But where did you read this again? This was, uh, Internet? This was on the internet, yeah, it was, yeah. <laughs> um, okay. And I, I just don't understand why people do it. That's, that's what got me attention. Cause me, um- Sorry, what have, what have I learned from this? Um, that if you, if you wanted to get one, you know, you can get one done by a machine now. <laughs> you know, people say machines are sort of taking over and that. And, and there's another one. But it's just the fact, I mean, I don't know. I, I so don't, give us the snappy title of this, this education why again. Why don't you just get a diary or some paper or something to write it on? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I always think when I see people with, with loads of tattoos, like there's that fella who we were talking about the other week in Scotland who oh. was covered 99% in tattoos. Yeah. It's just like, what have you done that for? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You can't get rid of it now. You've, you've, you've done it now. Yeah. Um, my, one of my uncles, right, Tattoo Stan, he, he, um, He's just caked in them. Tattoos. Right. <laughs> I don't think he's my proper uncle, but it's just like <laughs> me, me dad's got okay. stabbed. No, me dad's that's got. A, that's the province in Russia, isn't it? Me dad's got loads of mates who. When like, you say he's not names. your proper uncle, I do you know how, like when just a uncle Stan. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And there was like there was um, me dad had loads of mates like that. There was John the Screw. <laughs> <laughs> right. So he either works in a prison or he likes to have sex. Cabby. <laughs> Cab driver. Okay. There was Jimmy the Hat. I don't know what he Jimmy is. Jimmy the Hat? Yeah. Oh, and, did uh, he wear a hat? No. No. There was, um, <laughs> there was Fred the Veg. <laughs> you sure he wasn't a relative? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Fred the Veg used to get us, like, big bags of potatoes and that. Fred the Veg, okay. And there was, there was Tattoo Stan. Right. And he was just caked in them, and I used to always look at him thinking, why have you done that? I must have only been, like, you know, six I or suppose seven. If, if you're born with a name like Tattoo Stan. <laughs> Exactly. You're desperate, aren't you? Were really? they like a 1950s gang? I'm worried yeah, about. Just, like, I'm worried doing, about. Doing a bank job. What was his name? The Hat? What was his Jim, name? Jimmy the Hat. I'm worried mm -hmm. about Jimmy the Hat. Yeah. Not having a hat. <laughs> I don't understand it. Are you sure he didn't have a hat? Not when I met him. Did he ever wear a hat? <laughs> I didn't see him that much. Do you think it was a joke, like, you know, when um, y your mate sort of like, you know, uh, eight foot and huge, you call him <laughs> Little John or Tiny? Mm. Do you think well, the fact that he never yeah, wore a hat. Yeah, they went, hold on, I've, I've noticed something about Jim. Go on. No hat. And I go, oh, true, let's call him Jim the Hat. <laughs> Jim the Hat, yeah. But me, um, me Uncle Stan, he had like loads of them. He did, did them himself. Oh dear. And it was always <laughs> oh, thing. What was it, what was it things like? It was, he had like the, the cross. Cut, cut here cut one. Cut here, on made the in neck. Britain. And if you're going to do them yourself, I'd say at least make sure you're, good, you're sort of a good drawer. Yeah. And, and don't it, do it in the mirror so it comes out backwards. Well, that, that was the other thing. But like, I remember he did, um, I mean names were alright. He had like all his kids' names down his arm. <laughs> and, uh, what are they called? Yeah. Oh, God, it is. <laughs> that is Stan Junior. Yeah. And, um. Paul shits the bed. <laughs> um. I'm trying to. <laughs> oh, Wabai Kate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah uh, <laughs> Frankie never amounts to anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! So he had like uh, <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Johnny. I don't think he's mine. <laughs> so he did uh, all this stuff. I don't even know why I'm telling you about tattoos. No, nor do I, Carl. Hey, so, I just, to be honest, I don't know that if I don't know. If, maybe you just have to picture this. For my picture, my sister <laughs> took, had to take a photo once. She was working in like a factory, not to denigrate people who work in factories, but there happened to be a particularly oddball kind of lank-haired, weird guy living uh, working in this factory, and he made his own. He did his own tattoos. And she took a photo of it because she was so extraordinary. He'd drawn it himself. Now, bear in mind, it was the kind of thing you saw when you were doing art when you were like <laughs> 15. <laughs> this is the sort of person who designed their own, like, rock, heavy rock album cover. <laughs> yeah. He's that sort of person. So, pr I mean, like, was it, was it a dragon draw. with breasts? You're not far off, Rick. No. You're not far off. I'll tell you what it was. He had this tattooed on his back. It took up his entire back. She took a photo of it for me. He drew it himself. He had it tattooed himself. And it was just too much detail. Too yeah. much detail for a tattoo. It needs to be fairly simple, I think, to make it mm, yeah. tattoo. Mm -hmm. It was. <laughs> <laughs> it was a, n a naked female vampire having a shower. <laughs> why was she having a shower? Having a shower, well, that's why she was naked. Yeah. And so she had- She'd been out, she was, uh, presumably, uh, she'd been, uh, been, been out, been out yeah. a lot of blood. 
Well, yeah, just... well, she, 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 uh, she was naked, so she, you could see her, 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 her naked body. Yeah. Uh, she's quite a beautiful vampire, yeah. relatively speaking. Yeah. Um, although the symmetry of her face was somewhat off. Yeah. The only thing I think that gave well, her yeah, away- bad spine. Was that she had, um, she did have some pointed teeth. I right. I think that was how you knew she was a vampire. Right. Was she looking- but, um, she, was The she fact looking... that she was having a shower was- Yeah, that is weird, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, it well, but he sort of drawn he, in he, all he, the- he said, the, the, he said to the eye, I said, listen, I, I want a, a naked bird, right? But I don't want to be gratuitous. He goes, well, you could put her in the shower, cause then, they went, pop well, her in the shower. That at least gives some kind yeah, of justification. Yeah, that's the plot, that's the plot. Yeah. I mean, it, you know, it's justified <laughs> within the story <laughs> if she's in a shower. <laughs> sure, sure, okay, yeah. Yeah, we'll have that. So, Carl. So. Yeah, okay. Um. Uh, any other nicknames your friends of your family had? What was your nickname, Carl? Just, uh, Pilkey. <laughs> Cause for a minute I thought Carl the Veg would have made a lot of sense. Yeah, Carl the Veg. And what, what, why has your dad got a little tattoo, dopey twat, on his arm? <laughs> right, we'll do the answers to, uh, Robusters next, yeah? Brilliant. <laughs> Those cards. Still sounds brilliant, that. It is a cracker. They're from Manchester as well, Carl. So you get a little bit of pride there, eh? I think one of them's, uh, one of my mate's dad's. Really? Yeah, I think so. What's his nickname? Well, his name was, uh, I don't really want to say his name. Oh, okay. Laurie, his first name was. Yeah. Still, uh, still is, probably. Yeah. Uh, he was a good well, you know those little fellas at school that didn't know each other, weren't related and weren't friends because it would be too obvious that they had webbed, um, hands and big heads? Yeah. What, were they, did they have any nicknames? Bit, again, too obvious, isn't it? Yeah. Go on. Well, oh, big head or, you know. Sure. Oh, I bet you got at juggling or frog right. twins. Yeah. Can I just interrupt you guys because we've just had an email here. Um, I hate to query you, Carl, and you're educating Ricky sections. I know you put a lot. Don't read this. Let me just read it for you. Um, just had an email here from Olivia, and this has also been corroborated by someone else. I, I forget who, who it was. She was just she just tuned in and she just heard you explaining the expression "letting the cat out of the bag." So uh, it's all to do with cats that were put in bags yeah. by, by dodgy butchers, <laughs> possibly the 17th century. We're not too sure. <laughs> um, anyway, she claims. Well, uh, let me. See, she says uh, she uses both the words "twaddle" and "crap" uh, in relation. <laughs> In relation to your definition, <laughs> oh. uh, she says letting the cat out of the bag is an old shipping expression from when sailors used to get flogged for their misdemeanours. The cat letting the is cat, the cat of nine tails, of which uh, is. is a kind of whip thing that you they used yeah. to keep hanging in a bag below deck. If yeah. it was discovered that a sailor had done something wrong, the cat would be let out of the bag yeah. and you'd get a whipping. Of course, yeah, it is. don't let the cat out of the bag. We need to cover something up. She's secret. talking nonsense. No, right? she's not. That's she the is. truth. That's because the, the truth. one I read about that was there's not enough room in here to swing a cat, right? And that was people who worked on a boat. Yeah, well, that's the, the same way. Well, that's fine. They that's the same way. They're the not going to keep going on about people working on a boat to get loads of sailors. <laughs> <laughs> you can't have two phrases about the same thing. Can't they're these not going to be going to do with their time. Think, think how many is coming up. Yeah. Stuff think like how that. many metaphors have birds in them, and you know uh, uh, it's ridiculous. Why can't you have? You can have as many sounds as you like about anything, Carl. Yeah, There's well, not a rule. They don't go. We've made one up about the cat and nine tails. Well, cheers for that, Oliver. Olivia. Olivia. Yeah. Don't, don't see your uh, email coming up with the Rockbusters answers, so <laughs> well, let's you uh, give us the answer. Let's again. give them out. Uh, the first <laughs> one was um, you've been dunking that for too long. Yeah. That was LB. Uh, Limp Biscuit. Limp Biscuit. Yeah, got that one. Uh, the third one, we'll jump to that one because you've got it. Uh, well, I've had a rubbish day, so I'm happy it's all over. That was GK. That's a great one. That's Glad, glad it's night. Glad, glad it's night. Glad it's night. That's glad that it's is night. brilliant, Carl. And the one that uh, you're both having a problem with, uh, you won't be able to play that game in this pub. The table ain't big enough. FD. Go on. Fats Domino. Yeah. What? The dominoes. You play dominoes in a pub. The, the dominoes fat. Pub tables are quite small. You won't be able to play that game in this pub. Fats Domino. Rubbish. <laughs> so, do you want to pick a winner? Random rubbish. Winner? Well, Random winner. you say it's rubbish, but plenty of people got the right answer. Rubbish. Um, Who do you want to go with? The bunch of, um, slightly rubbish prizes is, is going to Elliot K from Chigwell in Essex. Uh, well done to Elliot. I, I just, w I, can, before we go, can we just get an, an email off Anders? Because I think he must, well, I think we've probably turned him around with this show. <laughs> I would have thought so. I think he's going to be say saying, coming to us with his tail between his legs, saying, <laughs> sorry lads, yeah. blinding show. I was wrong, you were right. Yep. Yeah. Right. Uh, song for the Lovers is very exciting this yeah, week. Yeah, uh, we haven't had a song for the uh, the Lovers or the Ladies for quite some time. Let's yeah, combine so, the two. Sorry, and sorry, a bit yeah. of John Martin, May You Never. Let's end with Beautiful that. Beautiful We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.